Mac Gaibo. Hi, I'm Mac Gaibo, and welcome to Kill All Blockade Runners. Blockade Runner is a type of hauler, and advanced haulers are known as transport ships. And there are two types of transport ships. There's a blockade runner, and there is a deep space transport. Now, deep space transports are hardy beasts with bonuses to resistances, hangar capacity, warp core strength, and overheating. Whereas a blockade runner can fit covert ops cloaks, have velocity and cargo bonuses, but most interestingly, they're immune to cargo scanners. Now that's kind of bad news for gankers. We're the ones who use cargo scanners the most. And it means if you're shooting them, you're effectively shooting them blind. Each race has its own blockade runner. For Amar, it's the Pro Rator. For Kaldari, it's the Crane. The Galanti blockade runner is called the Viator and the Minmatar one is called the Prowler. You can't scan them, obviously, and it's very difficult to lock them at a gate. They align at a super fast speed, and a good blockade runner pilot will be using their cloak as soon as they warp. So you might even see them on your overview, but basically you won't be able to lock them. They're already gone. So if you can't get them at a gate, where do you get them? Well, it's the same story as with the shuttles. You get them when they warp to the station and they drop short by a couple of kilometers. Some blockade runner pilots think that because of the protection offered to them by the cargo scan immunity and the quicker lines, that they don't need to tank the ship. Some of them do tank the ship. And the ones that don't tank the ship are the ones that we're going to be going for today. Now, I'm not going to be doing ship scanning, but the reality is that a tank ship would probably be able to tank the alpha of a tornado. And that's what I'm using today. So this is basically potluck. Today I'm at the Amar Trade Hub. Rather like the Synesis video that I did before, I'm choosing Amar because there's a lot fewer bots to scoop up the loot. So let's see how we get on. Now it isn't unusual if you're ganking as a thrasher pilot sitting on a gate to see a blockade runner jump through into Jita and just sit there as if he set his destination there and he's he's gone AFK and it's always tempting to me if I've got a couple of thrashes there to, to give it a shot in 0 0.9 space you do get if you've got two thrashes and you fire them both at one after the other then it isn't unusual for the second thrasher to get his second shot away and usually three shots from a gank of it thrasher would be enough to get through a blockade runner. Now if you are ganking and it's something that requires two ships or even three and you do your first shot and you see it is only taking away a small amount of the shield then you know that it's well tanked and there isn't any point continuing with the other ship so it's worthwhile paying attention to how much damage is done by that first shot. And it's a lot quicker to shoot a blockade runner at a station as well because you're not waiting to scan it to see the outcome of the scan you're just deciding that you're going to shoot it and that's that. Here's a little hint if you're starting to get oh now here's one it's a crane so let's go for it oh and it is obliterated so let's see if we've got anything of any value no is the answer so now we've just got to dock up but we've got to kill Let's take a look at the fit of what we've just killed. And I'll come back. I was about to tell you a hint there, but I'll come back to that. It was tanked. EM shield hardener, multi-spectrum shield hardener, medium shield extender. But there we are again. And it's two expanded cargo holds for an empty ship. They, they, they might have survived that if it wasn't for the expanded cargo hold. And there again, look. The rig that they've got on there increases cargo capacity at the expense of armor amount. So they've really weakened their ship. I'll just show you the expanded cargo hold. Increases cargo hold capacity at the expense of maximum velocity and hull strength. I feel like there should be manuals given out with ships. I mean, how is a pilot meant to learn how to fly a ship? Someone who gets a blockade runner, if they got a manual with it, then that would be wonderful. It would be able to explain the drawbacks of certain ways in which it could be fit. I'd certainly recommend the EVE Uni website, which has got lots of details. 
So I said I was going to mention a, a little tip there, which is before I took that kill, there were a number of different wrecks sitting there. And if, if you're going to loot a wreck, you want to immediately know which one's yours. So you may have noticed that some of the wrecks were brighter than others. A yellow wreck is one that if you loot it, you will go suspect. And if it's one that you haven't viewed, it will be brighter. If you viewed it, it will be darker. So the bright ones stand out. So the way around it, if you can't make your way to it and you can't look inside somebody else's wreck, and it isn't one of the wrecks that you've produced or one that you want to loot, you can just right click on that wreck and choose mark as viewed and that will dull it down. And it means that when you get your wreck, it'll be a lot brighter and stand out a lot better. And that one worked. So we'll just loot everything. But let's take a little look at what I killed there because it actually did have stuff on board. So 415 million isk. Well, let's let's take a look at what I managed to loot. That's 58 million isk. So it looks like that most of, a lot of the isk that didn't drop here was in the covert research tools, which in itself was about 100 million isk. But just to get a look at that prorata, prorata that, that I killed, which is the Amar blockade runner. Again, expanded cargo holds. Now you can kind of see why he'd want that, given the amount of stuff that he's carrying, but he had no tank at all. He had no shield, he had no armor, and he had no hull support, only what was built into the ship. And the cargo hold here, as we can see, he had four of them, and each one of them reduced the hull strength. So that was a paper thin ship. I'm just making sure that all my overviews are set up right. And it looks like they are. And the other thing to make sure that you've got set up right is your security level, your safety. So if you're ganking, it needs to be set red. And if you're looting, it needs to be at least orange. This is such an odd station because it's got so many different entry points. You could actually have about four looters set up at different points, which is not economical when you're having to finance each of these different accounts to loot. And it does seem like the grass is always greener, whichever one you pick, that perhaps there's more coming in at another one. But I think what you have to do is just stick with your choices, unless there's some significant tip over into another entry point one of the advantages of Jeter is that everything comes in at the same point or at least three of the gates come in at the same point so you only need one looter to cover three gates now here's a Viator and he is autopiloting in so I think what I'll do is I'll get ready to shoot him with two of the tornadoes so if the first one doesn't get him then hopefully the second one will but to be autopiloting in a blockade runner is is crazy business. So we'll wait for him to slow boat up. I'll just move my looter to be right next to him. And let's go for it. Oh. So as we can see there, my first tornado got him straight away. So I didn't need the second one. And the looting went to plan. And... <laughs> I've also managed to pick up the loot from my tornado, so that seems like a fairly decent kill. Let's have a little look at the kill mail. And there it is again, two expanded cargo holds, a small shield tank, and some a, a faction micro warp drive, faction inertial stabilizers, which did them no good at all. Cargo bay, the cargo that's in there is not only small, but of tiny value he didn't need the expanded cargo holds which i think is going to be the theme throughout this small shield extender yeah that's that's a horrendous fit and it deserved to be blown up and there's a fire tour and i'm getting both 
Now we docked and I've lost two tornadoes. Well, that's the risk sometimes you take. It was obviously very well tanked to be able to take both of the tornado strikes there. And here is a prorator and it's autopiloting. So I'm in the perfect position to kill this one, hopefully. And let's see how this goes. Wait until it gets a little bit closer. There we go. It's not looking good. Well, I blew it up. That's the point of today is, is, to, is to blow it up. If you're flying something like a blockade runner and you're autopiloting it, you deserve it. You really do. So let's have a little look at the kill mail. The expanded cargo holds. It's a common theme today, isn't it? I mean, the thing about the Prorator or Prorator is it's only got two medium slots. So you're really restricted for if you want to shield tank it. It's not the best thing to do. It doesn't really have the fit for shield tanking. But then you look at what he's put in the low slots here. is two nanos which reduce your structure's hit points by 20% each. And then two expanded cargo holds which are 23% each. Even with this shield hardener, it's not enough. Not by a long shot. But that's another blockade runner down. Good work. Now I mentioned that the four different kinds of blockade runner, but the one I'm going to find it most difficult with is the Prowler. Because the majority of the damage that I'm causing with the guns here is EM damage. And Prowlers, Arminmatar, and naturally have a higher base EM resist, meaning it's going to be able to protect itself more from the damage that I'm doing than the other racial blockade runners, unless they're using modules to patch the holes in the EM resist. I would therefore be better to or maybe have more success if I was going for the Prorator, Crane and Viator. But so far, absolutely everything that I've said has been proved wrong in this video. I moved back to this spot for the blockade runners because there are a couple of loot thieves on the undock. So I don't think it's wise to sit there and feed them with any kills that I, I, I may get. So for that reason, I've moved back up to the top of the station to try and get the blockade runners as they land at these points here from these gates. And you'll probably be quite happy to know that the cameras stopped working as well. But my setup for Eve and making the videos is, is pretty much on a budget anyway. Budget of zero. So there's a Viator. Now I tried to get the Viator with two different torpedoes there, but unfortunately I didn't manage to get the lock on the second one in time. So it's another loss. So I've moved yet again. I am sitting, well if I just focus on my ship, I'm sitting over here in line with, in line with where the ships come in from the biz gate. And I'm just going to focus on stuff coming in from there. So if I'm in a direct line, then the transversal shouldn't be an issue at all. And I can only really do that by committing to looking at one gate. And I've chosen this one here. So this Viator is autopiloting, which I think will give my loot a chance to get over there. So we'll give it a bash because it's been quite quiet on the biz gate. Hey, we killed it. No, <laughs> it's not got anything on board. I don't even need to see it really, do I? Expanded cargo holds on an empty ship. So yeah, 
and autopiloting. Congratulations, you're the owner of a wreck. And there is a prowler. I think it's inevitable that it will be empty. While I'm being podded, I'll just take a look at the kill mail. So I had a little bit of tank, which is why it took two tornadoes. Kinetic and explosive shield hardener. We already know that the the Prowler has built in EM resistance, but clearly not enough. And there again, expanded cargo hold, making my job easier. So I give up. Amar was far too quiet. I've come back to Jita. I do have to contend with all of these bots in red, but there's far more traffic. So even if I don't get to scoop the loot, I will definitely get kills a little bit quicker than I have been in Amar. So uh, wish me luck. This is so bizarre. <laughs> All these, how to get his fireworks going off? As if uh, Jita wasn't as overloaded as it is. There's a prowler, and you can see I only got halfway through the shield there. But again, I mean, I said earlier that the, the Prowler is a problem for Tornado Ganking, so should have listened to my own uh, <laughs> my own video. Okay, so this is uh, Kill All Blockade Runners, which I think I've proved at this stage I, I can't do. There are so many things against me uh, being able to do it, and definitely against me being able to do it efficiently. I think I can sum it up by saying that blockade runners do have their weaknesses, especially at the docking point at station, but they might not necessarily be weaknesses if it's me that's doing the ganking. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye now.